Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Alia. And in today's video, I wanna show you a beautiful exercise to stretch your shoulders. We're talking about shoulders flexibility. Let me show you first my brand new book, Shoulders Range, which is the complete playbook to master your shoulders and upper body flexibility. So if you want to learn how to stretch your shoulders using the best exercises out there, I strongly suggest you check out this book following the link in the description down below. All right, now with that said, Let's start. All right, guys, so today I wanna to show you an exercise to stretch your rotator cuff, which is a complex of muscles here inside your shoulder, which wraps your shoulder, your joint, and it keeps it there, all right? But if it's too stiff, if it's really stiff, it's going to limit the flexibility of your shoulder, all right? So now we're gonna say how to stretch it. More in particular, we're going to see how to stretch the subscapularis, which is a muscle here in the front part of your chest, under the chest, which is one of the muscles of the rotator cuff. And you stretch the subscapularis when you move your shoulder like this in external rotation, all right? Which is a really, really important range if you want to bring your shoulders overhead, if you want to do any kind of activity where you need to rotate your shoulders, then you need that kind of flexibility, all right? You don't need any kind of equipment to do this. And this, this is one of the best things about this exercise here, and I really love it. And it's really strong, so let me show you how to do that. So you wanna sit down on the floor, all right? Now, you wanna bring one arm and uh, like next to your leg and you wanna place your hand behind your ankle, right here, your ankle or slightly higher. Now this depends on the angle of your arm. You wanna aim for a 90 degree angle here on your arm. So you go down with here with your shoulder, then you pass through and you put the hand here, all right? Now you look at your arm, it should be 90 degrees, all right? Now from this position here, first thing you wanna do, the first thing is to raise your body up. So you do wanna open your chest, all right? So you don't wanna remain closed. You wanna open your chest as much as you can. You're doing nothing with this leg and this arm here. You're just assisting the position. As you can see, I'm pushing just to raise my trunk up, to open my chest. Now, the second thing is this. You wanna move your leg out. And this is going to externally rotate your arm, just a little bit. So, here, for example. All right, now I fix this shoulder here, all right? So, I keep this shoulder in place here. I open my chest and I slowly and gently move my body to the side like this can you see that i'm fixing my shoulder i'm fixing my leg i'm keeping a 90 degree angle here approxim uh, approximately and i'm moving my body away i'm creating a rotation effect now it's really important that you fix your shoulder now the reason why i'm saying you wanna do this open the chest is also because it retracts your shoulder blade so this means that you want to keep this shoulder pulled back. So you want to pull the shoulder back. You want to retract your shoulder blade. So you want to pull it back like this as you are here. So you pull it back, you open the chest and you slowly rotate to the side. There's the stretch. All right. Now from this position here, you can apply a PNF contraction to intensify the stretch, which means as I am here, I wanna push with this hand against the leg as if I wanted to do something like this, an internal rotation rather than external. So from here, I push in gently. It's really gentle as a pressure, all right? So really gentle pressure, 10 seconds, for example, I wanna hold that contraction. So I wanna squeeze and I wanna maintain that kind of contraction against my leg for 10 to 15 seconds, all right? So 10 to 15, I push, 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 gently. Then as I stop, I inhale, exhale, and I try to get deeper into the stretch, which means that I keep my shoulder here and move my body away. Now, 
we have two main ways to intensify the position. The first is to rotate your body more. So you want to rotate your body more and more and more. The second one is to move this leg out, further out. So from this position, for example, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. But you want to apply both, all right? Never do one and not the other. So for example, if I move the leg like this and I move my body like this, I'm going to feel the same amount of stretch, vice versa. If I bring my body to the side, but I bring my leg to the side as well, I'm not going to feel any kind of stretch. So I, if I move my body, I can remain fixed with my leg and I just rotate. If I move my leg, I do want to remain in the same position with my torso or in a deeper position. This is the only way I'm going to feel more stretch. All right, guys, so really simple. It's simple. You just need the, to know the details of the stretch. So keep an eye on the details. Arm, 90 degrees. Here, I do want to place my hand high as much as I need to find this angle here. I don't want to curve my body down, all right? So I don't want to remain closed. I want to open here. So I want to open the chest out, chest out. Shoulder, this shoulder pulled back. So I want to pull the shoulder back. I want to open this area of my body here. Two main ways to go into the stretch. I move my leg to the side and I rotate my body towards the opposite direction. So if I move my leg right there, I'm, I rotate my body here. All right? Of course, you can repeat on both sides and I strongly suggest you do some PNF contractions as well. One to two, three PNF contractions per side, 10 to 15 seconds. So you hold the contraction, then you stop, inhale, exhale, get deeper into the stretch. All right? Now guys, it's your turn to give this exercise a go, or if you know it and you've got any questions or doubts, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you enjoyed the content, remember hit that like button and help me grow this YouTube channel. All right, guys, it means a lot to me. And you know that, all right? So with that said, that's all for this stretch and from the flexibility guy, Coach Alia. Have a nice stretch and see you in the next video.